we just have seen a cow by uh, Andrea Arnold's, uh, a British um, director, about a normal dairy farm in Great Britain. And uh, I want to hear some reactions from my friends who have been seeing this uh, movie right now. Let's hear it. Who, who wants to start? Uh, yeah, so I think that uh, the movie was really good in showing how a normal a cow lives in under normal conditions. There were no, there was no abuse. It was just, you know, what you expect to see in a in a farm, um, but also what you expect to understand that the cow feels in various phases of her life. One of the striking moments was her, um, you know, like uh, a reaction when they took away the baby. Uh, she didn't want to eat. Oh, there are so many impressions in it, but uh, yeah. one of the things also was seeing them when they were outdoors, the little part where they were outdoors, how uh, natural it seemed for them to go around and eat and uh, just eat the grass and they were sniffing the grass and mm. eating grass and licking it and then compare that to all the time they were uh, in this uh, uh, factory <laughs> environment was uh, such a Oh, strong uh, contrast. So, mm. Yeah, but the, yeah, one of the things that I really liked is that there was no commentary from outside. The mm. only comments mm. that yeah. were during the movie was only from the farmers, yeah. and you mm. only had to um, decide what you think based on what you see and the reactions mm. yeah. uh, yeah. from the the cows and things like that. But, but I was thinking um, now we're five people here coming from uh, four different <laughs> U uh, European countries. Yeah. 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 Uh, but and some people might say, well, this is Britain. Uh, it doesn't yeah. look like this in yes. in Sweden or in Greece, etc. What do you think? Uh, it looks a lot exactly like this, I think. Mm. I, 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 it's I, very I, similar, isn't it, uh, across yeah. Europe and most modern states? I would expect. Okay, I come from Greece, so probably, uh, you know, the the welfare standards are even worse <laughs> there. Uh, I was really impressed how you don't notice that uh, the camera is going. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Being there, uh, it, it, uh, we, you talked about the farmers, um, of course they are aware that they are being filmed, but also uh, uh, the cows. Uh, um, it, it's like a fly on the wall uh, concept that uh, you really mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. follow the life of, of a cow. And I guess because they ha must have been there for a very long time, and I mean this is filmed uh, a couple of years, I would mm -hmm. uh, guess, because mm -hmm. Uh, you can follow uh, several births, um, yeah. uh, so of course they get used to uh, um, uh, the filmers mm -hmm. that are there uh, following. But that I think was very impressive. Um, and this director, I, I, I read a, a bit about her, Andrea Arnold, she is quite a famous uh, director, um, mm. highly acclaimed uh, uh, director and uh, famous for other movies, which is good. I mean, like you said before, it, it's not really an animal rights movie. Mm -hmm. um, I, I read an interview with her and she said she got the question, are you vegan? And she, she doesn't want to say it. She, she says, it doesn't matter. No, I, I'm just showing the reality. That's what I want to bring to you. Okay. Yeah. It made you feel as you're in there, mm -hmm. like yeah. a part yeah. of it. Yeah. You're really like one of the cows. Yeah. You're one of the like cows, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that was really impressive how they did yeah. I agree with you, Martin. Mm. One of the things I uh, think people don't know so much about is uh, the selective reading that takes place and that cr creates these enormous others, uh, mm. in Swedish. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, especially on Luma, I, mm. I thought they were so huge. Mm. Just carrying that mm. around must mm. be a huge burden. Well, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. thank you very much. And uh, you recommend this movie to 100%. Absolutely, yeah. yes, absolutely. Uh, what about those that uh, feel that, oh, but I, I, I know this already, I, uh, I don't... I, don't do. uh, I, I really doubt that, like, even uh, we, as we are talking to uh, people and we're kind of more of a um, in-depth, we have more of an in-depth knowledge of the mm. uh, industry, I feel like I still was shocked mm. about yeah. a lot of things. It's mm. a different perspective. Yeah. that we are not thinking a lot about of more it's it's less as a showing a crowd of cows but actually showing one 
in Crowd of Many. Yeah, so it's yeah, a it bit is different. it was that individuality of Luma that made it so u unique. You really get the perspective from the car. But then it was so. also in a kind of artistic, well done, di directed, nice yeah, yeah, sure. footage. I mean, you know, yeah. it was yeah, very. Definitely go and watch nice. it and remember mm -hmm. Luma. Yes. Yeah. I also highly recommend it. Um, I mean, even though you know the facts about uh, the air industry, you have heard it, you have seen pictures, you have seen uh, short uh, video clips, you can't compare it really with this. As you said, here is you can follow an individual for several years, yeah. you can get a feel of her life, that's something else. So even if you're vegan, even if you are active, I highly recommend to see it and uh, to recommend it to friends and maybe um, do a video on it or uh, or write about it uh, so we can spread it so thumbs up for uh, cows yes yes do you want to see it mm.